Over the past few weeks, motor vehicle drivers have been complaining bitterly about the unprofessional conduct of some traffic ranks deployed along the east coast of Demerara, citing cases of harassment and discriminatory treatment. These drivers have related stories where they are stopped, their vehicles searched, and then they are told to drive to a nearby police station to have breathalyzer tests conducted even if it is clear that they are sober. All of this is done with the hope of inducing a bribe or system systematically harassing a select few of individuals on the instruction of some unprofessional ranks and commanding officers. In fact, the practice is more prevalent between communities within the lower catchment of the area of C Division. Speaking with this newscast during an exclusive interview today, Divisional Commander Calvin Bruder said he would investigate any reports of wrongdoings or unprofessional conduct against officers that emanates from residents in his division. He believes that when junior ranks break away from following policy, they open the entire force to ridicule and criticisms. As soon as those complaints come, we promptly start our investigation and we take action. In many cases we have pending and those that have concluded that persons were issued warning letters, persons were transferred, we had some dismissals, um, persons placed before the court, depending on what the complaint or the situation is. And we will continue in that vein because we look at education and also the coercive measure that is taking discipline action through OPR and our mechanisms in place. Commander Brutus insisted that there was no shortage of breathalyzer tests or radar devices in his division. You take someone off the road and inconvene them, you're losing time and distance travel and expense in gas and what have you, to take them somewhere to test them and then to find out they're, they're no alcohol in the system, you know, it's, it's, it's an inconvenience. And that's why we have the mobile stations where the tests are to be administered on the road, on the spot, wherever you stop them. I'm unaware of these complaints, and, but I'm going to inquire and look into that. In terms of breathalyzing machine, I'm not aware that we have a shortage. I know we, we have sufficient breathalyzing machines and radar equipment to do speed in. He admitted that he was doing all that was necessary to educate the ranks while exhibiting a zero-tolerance approach to corruption and public harassment. We look at the training, and that is at the local level or instruction classes. And what I did initiate it here upon the assuming command is the monthly muster. So we get all available ranks together, and we go through all the issues that we had for the month. Explain to them what is the issue, highlight the issues, and give them the solution to it or advise them on the solution in terms of how you should react to persons at inquiries or on the road or whatever encounter you, you have that would deem a little hostile. And we look at also, and our purpose for doing that is because sometimes the information that we discuss at our meeting at the higher level don't always get done the way it should to the junior ranks. There has been a 2% reduction in fatal accidents in C Division over the past year and the commander says plans are being put in place to build better relations with communities and road users in 2018. He has adopted a zero tolerance approach to corruption from traffic ranks. Michael Young, The Evening News.